Hi there, Nancy. I had the opportunity to speak with Dr. Patrick Alman Ward at Dana Gas. Of course, this company is listed in the Emirates, but it conducts the bulk of its drilling, exploration, and production activity in Egypt and the Kurdistan region of Iraq. He told me that he's very optimistic on the outlook for oil and gas this year, particularly now that crude has found what he calls a bottom. Listen in. I think there's still a significant degree of nervousness. I mean, obviously, after the 2014 price collapse, you know, and, and the real uh, structural reforms that that uh, had brought about in the industry, uh, the deep cuts, uh, both in terms of employment and in terms of investment, people were just starting to see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, and then we had this uh, relapse again at the end of uh, 2018. So I think that people are, are still feeling a little bit nervous. I think that the, the market is now back in the supply-demand balance. A lot will depend on, uh, on what happens with respect to Iranian uh, waivers and uh, sanction waivers uh, to see how, just how quickly uh, that supply-demand balance will be, will be brought back into the market. But, but uh, I'm, I'm confident that uh, the prices have, have bottomed and uh, we'll see some firmer prices due for, the, for the remainder of the year. How much firmer do you think and what looks constructive from your angle? But I, I would not be surprised to, to see oil prices hit $70 a barrel by the end of the year. I mean, that, that's possibly the kind of, so 60 to 70 would be my expectation for the, for the remainder of this year. Do you see any black swan events on the horizon though? Well, I mean, I think we could see another uh, repeat of, the, uh, of, of uh, what happened in November of last year when the Americans said, uh, we're not going to give any waivers, it's, uh, it's a path to zero and then handed out uh, waivers like confetti. And um, uh, you know, if, if the same thing happens this time around, then clearly we, we're going to spook the market again. But, uh, but I think the fundamentals are, are, are much tighter now, much firmer now. Uh, with prices where they are, I think there's less exuberance in the uh, US uh, uh, shale oil market. So I, I, think, um, I think things will cool down this year and, and we'll, see, uh, we'll see oil prices in the 60 to $70 a barrel range. Dr. Patrick Alman Ward speaking to me on the sidelines of the Egypt conference here in Cairo. Alman Ward also said the company plans to spend up to $5 billion over the next few years to commercialize three prospects that it has in the Mediterranean Sea. If the geology stacks up, they could hold up to 20 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. That means it would be second only to ENI's Zor Reserve, which was found in 2015. Very significant for the region. Nancy, back over to you.